and go to sex to be one of his or core chief and welcome back to pray probably the last episode of pray who knows it may just be it may not be we will find out let's go <laughs> what a wonderful intro system alert repairs needed please contact careful qualified mortal. engineer gas alarm went off in the coolant chamber after you powered the reactor back up the turbines are hydrogen cooled now they're leaking you take a shot and it's your last It'll be like shooting a grenade at your feet, or worse. Um, should I do something about that? Nice work, Morgan. <clears throat> You'll make junior engineer yet. Now, get to the lift. But be careful. No telling what got stirred up in the shed. I'll follow when I can. Meet you at your office. been here since I believe it was the time where your medical condition was discussed chief engineer Lucian what the hell Morgan is that I am January Morgan use personal operator talk about loving the sound of your own voice all right January is that Morgan's workstation and the fabricator Morgan come up here when you get a chance chief Lucian please do not Morgan, this is Dr. Igwe. I've made it to your office. Igwe, what are you doing here? How did you survive? Chief Illusion. Well, I... Dr. Igwe. I would. What is that? Is... Is that you, Morgan? Hardly. This is January, Morgan's attempt at having a conscience. But as per usual, it's only evidence of his ego. There's a number of responses I can make to this, Chief Illusion. But we are pressed for time. And Dr. Igwe is already showing signs of anxiety and disorientation. Fine. Make yourself useful, Igwe. Stand watch and keep away from the fabricator. Yes, Chief Illusion. And, uh, January. You came back in from outside, huh? Fixed elevators. Thank you. Now I can move free. You, not so much. All right, let's find this asshole. The you family caused much trouble on Earth. Now they play with the stars and expect not to burn. I wondered why you opened us to the chamber. Make us see a horizon. Sharp. Razored. Hungry. You surround yourself with machines, with things. They cannot keep you safe. They will eat you as well. After they eat you, maybe I take your suit. Hmm? Become MU. Get shuttle access. I think it's through the escape pods. <laughs> Fuck! Good evening, Talos. Mr. Tucker from HR would like to remind you that if your personal data has changed since the previous pay cycle, please contact him immediately. Mr. Tucker's office is on the second floor of the lobby. Um. Join me. I saved you a seat. Morgan, you... <laughs> This pod will work, but I, I do not know how to launch it. We are over now.
signals. The first will direct the Typhon away from you. The second will bring it down on you. Use your transcribe messaging system to fire them off. again how the decompression happened. Cargo bay. I asked Dr. Eagle. Oh, uh, I don't know. Perhaps an explosion or structural damage from the Typhon attack? Morgan, hope you don't mind. I was using your workstation. I found the right materials for the glue gun as well. Mm. Able to make several canisters. I also found some food on the way up, left it on the desk. Don't worry, they're alien-proof. I checked them, no twitching. To be sure, I let Igwe sample them first. Pardon me? I'm joking, Igwe. I wouldn't willingly expose you to aliens. Or anyone else. That would be... inhuman. I never told you why I altered my medical records. I know you were so sure when you were lecturing me, Morgan, saying I was selfish and... My father, he was imprisoned for questioning the Soviet intervention in India. Many prisoners are lost in Siberian labor camps, but my father vanished. The only thing I knew for certain was Tronstar was recruiting volunteers from those labor camps. I came here because of you and Alex and your experiments. To find him. And now I know okay. he was here. I noticed on your computer. You found a set of names and ID numbers from Psychotronics, from Dr. Gallegos. The Russian volunteers were never referenced by name, I but I was able to match an ID to my father. We can pull up his records, archived experiment logs. I've already asked a great deal of you, but if you could find that archive in deep storage, I'll finally know what happened to my father. His name was Yuri Andronov, V01065532. Mm -hmm. A security station in the lobby might have weapons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the coral is a kind of reservoir of all the energy the Typhon have been accumulating. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I'd say the coral bears a striking resemblance to a nervous system. You believe the Typhon are building a disembodied mind? It's only a hunch. I had more time to study it. Studying it is what got us here in the first place. This is Igwe. I stepped out for a moment. Miss Illusion's father, Andronov, the cosmonaut, he was here. I know he was. I'm sure there are logs, records in deep storage, but Morgan, you know what happened to him already. You've simply forgotten what you did. Miss Illusion, she may not understand. Do what you must. But if the records are gone, or happen to be destroyed due to the station damage, it would be for the best. 
You sure about this? Not too late to flush it all out in airlock, you know. I'm sure. Are you having second thoughts? No way. I'm in. It's just... I'm not the one incriminating myself. There's no happy ending for me either way. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. Did you make arrangements? Mitchell's on board. He's gonna bring me food. I don't need to know the details. Better that way. It has to happen on your next rotation. I put everything in a package labeled Mementos. The package is in my cabin. It's got to go to every media outlet imaginable. Got it. And Quinton, be careful. Security is already scrutinizing me more than usual. Alex? Morgan, I won't be joining you. Don't worry, there's no trick. Just a gift from your big brother. It's the truth, like I promised. Took me a while to dig it up. Someone wanted to hide it from you. My computer, another video. Give it a look and we'll talk. I'm sending you the password. Assuming you haven't hacked your way in yet. Nope. My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Talus One research facility. What else? Why are we making this video? Right. <laughs> because my big brother is paranoid. Psychometric data is showing statistically significant variance in personality patterns between trial runs of the new neuromods. Whatever. I feel more like myself than ever. I mean, look at this. We did it, Alex. It's real. Enjoy it while you can, because in a few minutes, it'll all be gone when we strip out the neuromods and we set. I know, including my memory of it. No way around it. Let's talk about the backup. So, the Typhon organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. And my gut tells me it's a kind of neural framework, but externalized. Still waiting on analysis to confirm. In the meantime, I've given Alex the design for a device I think could shut it down if it ever broke containment. <laughs> Alex just has to grow a pair and commit. He don't have to take all the credit. <laughs> what if it doesn't work? It'll work. Trust me. <laughs> what else are we going to do? Blow everything up? That won't save us. And if it does work, is it worth it? The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, immortal. They can judge us if they want. But they'll know they exist because of the things we did. I'm ready. Do it. Well, there you have it. Everything I've done is what you've asked me to do. I didn't think you'd believe me unless you heard it from your own mouth. The tests. They changed you. Not a lot at first, but eventually, the constant stripping of your memory. I didn't know who you were anymore. All I want is to have my brother back so we can finish what we started. The device you mentioned is an advanced version of the Null Wave. It's the only way to stop the Typhon without destroying everything we've been working toward. We're just missing some scan data from the Coral to complete the design. Help me finish this, Morgan. And then, you can have my army. 
mining key. I don't believe you want to use it anymore, but you can have it. I left a chip set for you on my desk. You'll need to upgrade your psychoscope to scan the coral. I'll send you the scan locations. What the hell? situation here. I suppose it was inevitable despite my efforts. That's why it's important we act quickly, decisively. They'll try to take this out of our hands, Morgan. Initiating test procedure 29, variant C, subject V-010655-32. Subject 32 is in the chamber. Psychoscope's on, everyone. Do you have a family? Prep the Typhon Cacoplasmus. I have a daughter. They took me from her. I was promised I would see her again. I signed your papers. <sighs> Let's stay focused, everyone. Your family. You must hate them very much to do this. I hear it in your voices. Track his vitals. 32 is showing signs of distress. Elevated cortisol, heart rate, perspiration. Nothing in the red yet. Look at me. Look at the man you're killing. Mimic is in the tube. Permission to release? Morgan? What you do kills us both. Release. Ah, 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 mm -hmm. ah, 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 the typhoon cacoplasma ah, specimen is in the chamber ah, with subject 32. Ah, 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 ah. Subject, uh, subject vital signs are gone. Make a note. Replication followed the usual pattern. Appears unaffected by the subject's age. Morgan, did you get a good scan? Yeah, data looks good. Scrub it and send it up to me as soon as you can. I want a new design on the mimicry connectomes before I dive into the sim again. Who gives a shit? It's the best decision. <laughs> now she, you're gonna light me after. <laughs> Won't be surprised if I get a bullet to the face. <laughs> Remember, Michaela, I'm a changed man. I don't remember the shit. This technically ain't my fault. <laughs> Even though it is my fault. But we can agree to disagree. <laughs> I forget about that. That hurt. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. You don't see me. My John Cena in this bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. I fucking must be. <laughs> All right, Michaela. 
Hi, Morgan. Morgan, hooked up some more supplies. Take what you need and don't be shy about using it. I don't think they will. Uh, using what? Oh, that? Are oh, you giving me a chip? Huh. I'm ready, Morgan. <laughs> I'm not. I have more autonomy than Got a typical stationed operator. in engineering because the contract is under the auspices of being violent. Only a flesh and blood are One person at a fucking time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Morgan, I've been waiting. We can listen to the log now. I don't think that's like entirely. Fuck it. <laughs> Initiating test procedure 29. Variant C, subject V-01-0655-32. Subject 32 is in the chamber. Psychoscope's on, everyone. I don't... Do you have a family? Prep the Typhon Cacoplasmus. I have a daughter. They took me from her. I was promised I would see her again. I signed your papers. <sighs> Let's stay focused, everyone. Your family. You must hate them very much to do this. I hear it in your voices. Track his vitals. 32 is showing signs of distress. Elevated cortisol, heart rate, perspiration. Nothing in the red yet. Look at me. Look at the man you're killing. Mimic is in the tube. Permission to release? Morgan? <clears throat> what you do kills us both. Release. Typhon Cacoplasma ah, specimen is in the chamber ah, with subject 32. Ah, 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 subject, uh... Subject vital signs are gone. Ooh. Make a note. Replication followed the usual pattern. Appears unaffected by the subject's age. Morgan, did you get a good scan? Yeah. Data looks good. Scrub it and send it up to me as soon as you can. I want a new design on the mimicry connectomes before I dive into the sim again. You designed me to assist you. What the <clears throat> f Chief Uliushin, this is a complicated matter. Shut up. You? Perform the procedure? The what? Killed him? And you knew? Why? You didn't know. You don't even know what you've done. Chief no. Lucian, Morgan has no memory of the log you've listened to. Go to hell, January. You speak with his voice. You might as well be his conscience. Lack of conscience. And to think, Morgan, I thought you were trying to help me. Why would you save me to do this? To buy back some guilt so I'd forgive you? My father is right. You don't understand. Your father, mother, your stupid, deluded brother. You will never understand family. You don't even understand what it means to be human. Get the hell away from me. Um. Morgan? I'll look for more neuromods while you're gone. You really need to organize your tools better. I would hate to see your living quarters. So everybody just going I about their business? I haven't had much success in calling up more fabrication plans. But I did have a design for a psychoscope chipset I've been tinkering with. I'd be honored if you found some use for it. I wish I could make my way to my quarters. I have some personal effects I'd rather not leave behind. I do feel bad for Illyushin. I really do. But it's either no and keep that shit a secret from her or her figuring out later on in the future that you kept that shit a secret. You know what I mean? It makes shit a hell of a lot worse. Detected. <laughs> Accidentally took like three screenshots. I've been thinking about the video Alex showed you. Your brother believes that version of you is the true Morgan. But why? Just because it came first? If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. 
I know who made me, and why. Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose, or have none at all. I was created by Strangely, Malakath. Of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you? That's easy. I'm fucking dead! <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, where the f where the hell are you? Okay. Oh fuck! Scared the shit out of me. Something's ready to ah, see what's radioactive now. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. Easy enough, right? Nope! Nope! I'm dead! Oh, wait, hold on. What am I. Suit integrity damaged. What the hell was that? Uh, that was a whole ass human body, and then it just disappeared. Why did it disappear? Whoa, what are you? The hell? Ah, 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 my ass did it! More specimens required. Good team, great team. Let's get this shit over with. So I don't explode. What? Better do something. The reconstruction is destabilizing. They're lying to you. Hurry. Hold on. Some bitch. Some bitch. Some bitch. Fucking parrot. Me. What the hell was that? Excellent work. All that's left is integrating the data after you upload it. <laughs> Hard to tell from just a scan summary, but wait. What is? There's some kind of neural tripwire built into the coral. Christ. Morgan, get back to my office. We have to get your data uploaded now. Hurry. Sound like Perry the fucking platypus was in that bitch. Okay, something's about to be inside me. Wait a minute. I didn't think about that sentence right there. It's okay. We're leaving. Hiya. Use my terminal to upload the data. I'll get it integrated into the fabrication plan for the new null wave device as fast as possible. And be careful. The Typhoon will begin to sense our intent to harm the Coral. They're gonna come after you. I left something for you on my desk that should help. Is it like a shit ton of neural mods? Okay. Three neural mods. Oh, you the best big brother anyone could ever ask for. Let's see, three. So that means I can have jack shit. <laughs> Absorb fifty percent of all other damage as side points. I can't miss that. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. Morgan, 
for us hold it. Something. Or someone. Shit. This is Commander Walter Dahl. The Transtar Board of Directors has authorized me to take full command of Talos One. Effective immediately. All employees must now report to the shuttle bay for evacuation. Those of you unable to comply, transmit an SOS and my team of rescue operators will locate you. One last thing. Alex and Morgan Yu have been relieved of their positions. Do not consent to their requests or assist them in any way. Dial out. Uh, oh! Fuck! Hello! Oh, bitch! Suit integrity damaged. Uh huh. <laughs> you don't fucking say, suit. What the fuck? That's not okay. We gotta do something about this. Sorry. Right. Let's get the fuck up out of here. Two fucking mini robots. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well locked out. It's Dahl. He already has his hooks into every major system of what Talos one. I have to admit, I'm disappointed with our parents. And usually they had a contingency in place, but a small foolish part of me believed they wouldn't use him against their own flesh and blood. Regardless, we're not getting this coral data through until we do something about it. I don't like it, but you're gonna have to get into his command shuttle. See if you can locate his access point and cut him off. The Repo Man. I'm gonna hack the shit out of you. Ah, fuck! You are now my friend. Do what I say and... Wow, I really fucked you up, huh? It's old doll. Kind of like the doll corporation, huh? From Borderlands. Command shuttle. Yay! We can finally go through here! <laughs> ah, fuck it. No, no, I will not give you up. You are there for me, I am here for you. If you'd indulge me, I have a proposal that could get us off Talos 1 without any more bloodshed. Just don't harm Dahl until we've had a chance to speak in person. Contact him immediately. Mr. Tucker's office is on the second floor of the lobby. Okay. But what about Michaela? I mean, she didn't seem too fucking keen on, you know... What I don't remember doing. This is Alex Yu, speaking to any surviving crew of Talos One. I know many of you are frightened, angry. Perhaps you blame me for what's happened, but I never intended to harm any of you. Believe me, quite the opposite. Commander Dahl, on the other hand, has no intention of rescuing anything except the secrets aboard this station. You're all liabilities to the company now. Dahl, I'm sure you can hear me. I don't know what my... what the board told you, but you're out of your depth on this one. Call off your operators, or at least help us hold back the Typhon. We're on the verge of... Your brother, he likes a microphone. A spotlight. He can't resist even though he's hiding. And you are running around like a nervous rat. I hear you chewing the wires and shitting in the walls. Are you trying to fix the mess you've made or just get away? I pride myself in being prepared for the worst, but this, this is truly a masterpiece. You should be proud. Mm. 
Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. Help me. My good sir can go fuck yourself. Doctor, you, Morgan. Oh man, thank God. I've just been going down the contact list hoping somebody would answer. I'm in trauma center. I came up here to look for supplies. I, I think I broke my arm when that blackout happened. Now I'm trapped. Aliens outside the door. I could really use some help, man. Oh shit. Yeah, I got you, Luther. Hurts, you dicks. Morgan, I was worried Dalo, his rescue team, had intercepted you. They are NCN-9 black box operators, not a rescue team. Rescue is not among their list of commands. January, not now. Yes, of course. But Dal, his arrival may help us, as long as you have not killed him. You see, Dal is a recipient of several neuromods, a standard array of combat, tactics, interrogation mods, as I'm sure you know, your father, the board, is very thorough. Dr. Igwe, please present your conclusion to Morgan. Igwe, if there is a point. Ah, uh, well, yes. 
You see, Dull's mods are early C-series betas and vulnerable. As such, he has old-school thinking on some matters. If we remove them, he may forget his mission here. Yet we would still have access to the shuttle and a way home, provided his piloting knowledge remains intact. It's a risk, but worth taking, I think. He'll have to be subdued, of course. I'm afraid that task falls to you. There is no one else alive on the station who can pilot the shuttle. It's worth a try. And there's been enough killing. Morgan. N? Eh. Morgan, January was right. It was not you. But I keep hearing your voice and my father's voice. And it was not you, I know. You saved me because you wanted to. That is not the same person on the recording. Something's changed. I need to see that. I'm better now. I'll do what I can to get us off the station alive, but that log is coming with me. Okay. If you truly want forgiveness, you'll help me get it to where it belongs. No matter what that means for you and Tronstar. Okay. Morgan, I've been thinking about what you've done, what you're doing. We all must act according to our nature, no matter what the psychologists and priests say, and your nature. I think I was right before. You are like a rat, resourceful, sly, burdened with a kind of pestilence of the mind. This station was your laboratory, and the experiment was a failure. And, of course, sadly, you know what happens to the rats when they are no longer needed. Resuming. Uh, Mr. Yu, this is Eddie Voss. I work down in cargo. The fact is, we've been stealing from you, sir. It started small, just, uh, moving harmless contraband on and off the station. Pharma's food not on the safe list. I don't know, maybe you don't pay your tax and hardware enough, but, uh... Lily got ambitious after a while. Started stealing neuromods, fabrication plans, selling them to Transtar rivals. Yeah, sit on that for a sec, Mr. Yu. Kazma's got our IP now. Lily made me modify some of the old alarm panels around Talos so, uh, <clears throat> we could, uh, use them as dead drops. I'm certain a few of them still have company property. Three taps with a wrench will pop it open. Anyway, I just wanted to say, uh, <clears throat> I never meant for things to get out of hand. It just uh, took on a life of its own. But uh, I'd like to make it right any way I can. That's all. It's okay, buddy. Shit! Hello? Is someone... I'm in the escape pod with Emanuela de Silva. We're stuck in the launch tube. The hatch on the outside is supposed to blow when the pod launch initiates, but... I guess the bolts misfired. Could you help us out? You'd have to EVA to get the hatch off from the outside. I know it's a lot to ask. I don't know what else to do. Sit here and starve, I guess. There's an override switch behind the panel to force a pod launch. But don't hit that until the outside hatch is off. We'd be blown to bits. Frank! You in there, man? What's wrong with these pods? I... I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's your job to know, damn it! You inspected them, right? Yes. Then why the hell is the launch sequence doing jack shit? I don't know, Drew. I'm sorry. What about your pod? Open up! I... 
I can't do that. What are you talking about? Bolts in the outside hatch misfired. We're stuck in the launch tube. Ugh! You didn't wait for anyone else, you son of a bitch! I hope you starved to death in there! That wasn't too fucking nice. Mayor, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Send an operator. That's what I'm doing, Niels. It's not responding. None of them are. Shit. Was it those things? Did they shut the air off? I don't know. It doesn't matter, though, right? I mean, it should be hours before we run out. <sighs> no, Niels. The system is working in reverse. It's pulling oxygen out of the air. We've got ten minutes. Tops. What? But... Material inconclusive. Logging calibration request. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I think I know what I'm doing. to me that you did all that, despite Frank. I'm transmitting the location of something that could help. I couldn't get it off the station, but maybe it can help you. Need one more, and I'll have more health. Alright, it's gonna knock him the fuck out. Warning, please ensure there are no persons inside the gravity shafts when activated or deactivated. So I can hope not.
bitch! Oh, wait a minute. I just realized we have five. There's more health. This is William Yu, acting chairman of the Trans Star Board of Directors. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit, awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of Cobalt Clearance Level technology and research aboard Talos 1. Then eliminate all Trans Star personnel. All personnel. No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success. I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal location would be the station exterior. Near the power plant grids. Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy the transmission after- I think somewhere in the- on the exterior. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna leave this episode of Prey here, almost at Half-Life for some reason. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave this episode of Prey here. Uh, I thought this was gonna be the last episode, but, but, there's more quest. There was more quests. There were more quests. Now that we've saved everyone and did all that we needed to do for all the important characters and side characters, I guess, all we have to focus on is the main mission of taking down Doll, the Doll Corporation, and pray. <laughs> oh, I love Borderlands. <laughs> but until next episode of Prey, it might be the last episode. Hell, who even knows anymore? <laughs> All right. Anyway, with that, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you on the next one. And as always, my fellow orcs and orc kin, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.